hurt my feelings. I'm guilty of lying about that now. Hey, hey, I, I'm guilty of being finessed by that. So, you know, is this love is love? No, it's not. I don't love my father the same way I love my husband. I don't love my son the same way I love my man. We got to be really, really careful with what's going on. And I just want everybody to just open their eyes, man, and just protect your children because it's, it's in the media. It's in the schools. It's all over the TV. Like we, we, we need to let our children grow up to be who they were destined to be. And changing their sex is not something that they should even be thinking about. Like when we were kids, we had enough shit to wear, but we, we didn't know what our favorite color was, whether we wanted to play a video game, ride bikes, go swimming. Now these children got to be trying to make a decision as to whether or not they a boy or girl. Like that whole agenda, man, you know, it's sexual, it's perverted, it's demonic. We got to wake up. This ain't, we can deal with racism, but can we deal with pedophiles? Right. That's the question. I can right. deal with a racist. I can't deal with nobody fucking no children. I don't know where y'all at, but that's my preaching. I'm with you on that one. That's now, let me ask, let, speaking on that topic, let me, let's move into the BET Awards. Because I just found out that the BET, BET is not owned by black people anymore. And uh, I spoke on Lil Nas X. But I also spoke on like every TV show that's geared towards black, uh, black people, period, geared towards us. There's a lot of there's only a couple of lanes you can get in. It's either the sexual deviant behavior like this guy, Lil Nas X, who's sliding down a pole to the devil and riding the devil. Now he's kissing on men. There's girl on girl just over sexualizing and twerking. And the men have to be super violent and thugged out and got to be talking about killing dudes, killing other brothers. Yeah. And so I, I talked about all that, but they only wanted to focus on the one part that I disagree with little Nas X behavior. I watch behavior. And to me, like you said, all of the behavior that they show black folks is negative, bad behavior. Well, well, here's here's the issue for me. I mean, I remember back in the day we used to have to worry about our girls being fast and, and promiscuous. Well, now it's our young men. Like you, like you say, even with Lil Nas, like they have no problem like advertising that they got ass or booty for sale. I think that's an issue. I think that that's out of line. Like you ain't no man got no business walk around shaking his ass, advertising his ass. Not after what we went through with slavery, buck breaking or whatever. And I ain't trying to hurt nobody feelings. I just got to be 100. But let's talk about this Lil Nas X situation for a minute because Lil Nas X is not the first one. And I'm getting ready to bring something to y'all attention. When we talking about this agenda and we talking about Hollywood and what they're doing to our children, think about all of these stars. Miley Cyrus, who was Hannah Montana. Jojo Sweeva, who just came out, all of a sudden she gay. They had some type of party and found drugs in her house. Lil Nas X, when Lil Nas X first came out, he was geared strictly for children. Old Town Road, he had a book, a children's book. Old Town Road children's book. He was going around to all the schools to get the attention of our children. And our children were mainly his fans. They are following him. They are idolizing him. So what he's doing now with this, I'm coming out and all oh, we all satanic and everything that we doing is all about being promiscuous and all of this stuff. It's the same thing that we saw with Britney Spears. It's the same thing we saw with Myra Cyrus. It's the same thing we saw with Jojo Sweeper. See, these are all things to mislead our youth. And the reason why they want our children to be promiscuous is because promiscuity leads to what? Sex. We know that, right? Reckless sex leads to what? Abortion. Baby. Unwanted oh. babies, right? When we got unwanted babies, we got abortion. When we got abortion, what do we got? Harvested organs. Ain't nobody walked up out of an abortion clinic and said, let me take my baby remains with me. What they doing with them brand oh. new hearts? Huh? So, so you, you saying they, they, they aborting the babies and keeping the organs of the babies, so that's why they coercing them to do that? Absolutely. And not only that, grinding up babies and, and we got aborted babies in vaccines. We sitting up here. I, I, listen, I, I had to go take myself back to school for psychology because I was very concerned as a parent when it came to my son. I wanted to know what was going on. I needed to know, was this something mental? 
What is what is going on with my child? Because I felt like I was losing it as a person. And when I started doing these studies on these vaccines and how they got these aborted babies in these vaccines, if you taking your child to get a vaccine and somebody done shot him up with the DNA of a female, and we wonder why these boys weren't around here talking about they girls and why these girls weren't around here talking about they boys, you got somebody else DNA in you. Let me in, tell the you. in the vaccine? Yes. Let me tell you how serious this is. Now, if you can have sex with a man, right, and he can sperm inside of you and create a whole life, right, then you know that you can take on that person's characteristics, their spirit, their DNA, all of that stuff, right? And you can harvest that. You, you can keep that in your body, right? You can be a carrier of that. That's the same thing if somebody is shooting you up with the DNA of another person. Wow. Wow. So we, we can't hate our children. We can't be mad at them. No, I don't agree with my son, but I still got to love him because, baby, I, at this point, it ain't even your fault. They, they done shot you up with, with vaccines or somebody else's DNA because they telling mama she can't go to work if you ain't in school and I can't put you in school unless you had these vaccines. Remember, they mandatory by the government. You can't even get your child in school unless you take that 3321 form. They're going to make you vaccinate that child, right? No person that has ever gotten an abortion again, like I said, walked up out of the clinic and said, let me have my baby's remains. And they didn't try to give them to you and didn't ask you if you wanted them. Mm -hmm. And didn't tell you what they did with them. 900 black babies aborted every day. Now, I'm not talking about all the babies. But I'm just talking about 900 per day. If we stopped aborting our babies for one year, we will see an almost 30% increase in our numbers as a minority group. Joe Biden on that live said, America is doomed, not just because of African Americans, but because by 20, I think he said 24, 2040, white people are going to be the minority. This is their fear. It's already there. So they got to figure out a way to get rid of us. And how they going to get rid of us? They going to tell our young girls that abortion is health care, kill that nigga before he born. Cause that's one less nigga we got to worry about, right? Do us a favor, please. Matter of fact, sis, we're going to make sure you don't have to pay. We're going to pay for it. Come see us. We're going to pass funding. We're going to make sure that there's tax dollars there to kill that baby because we'd rather that baby be dead than for us to have to take the risk of another degenerate being born into your welfare community, right? Now, I was born out of nothing. I don't know about you, right? Who's to say that my life is not important? How you get to decide that I don't deserve to live because my mom on welfare? How you get to decide that I don't deserve to live because I'm black? And you telling my mama that she better off aborting me than giving birth to me because it's a chance she could die giving life. Mm. Right? So they tell us all of these things. They push. Now they telling us we got to get this shot. And we deserve to get the shot. And they want to make sure that the black community get it first. How the hell something that happened in China travel all around the world, somehow get here to America, and now all of a sudden, we the ones that got to get the vaccine for them? What's, what's in my skin that make me so damn different <laughs> from your ass? I want to know why you don't deserve to get it just as much as I do. Man, 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 man. When we going to wake up? And we running down there standing in line for some man even have a chance to test. Are they making this uh, test attached to work in a check somehow? Some have. Some have said, you know, hey, if you don't get it, you can't come to work. I don't see these people giving away fried chicken. I don't see them giving away lottery tickets. I don't see them giving away lap dances. Hell, I don't see Run DMC. Make a whole video talking about the vaccine, vaccine, get the vaccine. But I didn't see any black people over there in China coughing and dying like from this, this COVID that was supposed to break out. But even in Africa, they had the lowest amount of numbers. But you're telling me you get here to America, all of a sudden we need it. But at the same time, the people telling us to take the vaccine and abort our children, 
opening up our borders for what? The replacement plan, because they said, niggas, your time is up. Y'all lazy, y'all don't want to work. We're getting ready to replace y'all. We're going to let millions of illegal immigrants come in. 11 million. We'll never be able to vote for another president that want to put black America before illegal immigrants. You know why? Because their vote now is what count. Y'all don't vote anyway. We, we voting against our own interests. I hate to break it to you, and I don't know who watching, and I'm not trying to sound like a racist, but them illegal immigrants don't give a fuck about you or your children. They're not going to do nothing for us. So even the people that's coming home from prison, that will take some of those low-paying jobs. You, you, What are we leaving for our own people? What? They already can come over here, get all the loans, get all the stores in our communities, get everything. Why we keep voting against our own interests? That's what I don't get. It's not getting us nowhere. And why are we not demanding action from Joe Biden? I got called a coon everywhere I went. These niggas sitting up here standing with Joe Biden and not one person got free from prison except Bill Cosby. That ain't had nothing to do with Joe Biden. Not one person that got free from prison. We ain't got not one anti any type of bill whatsoever. The only thing that we got was the Equality Act telling you that your child got the right to sexually transition without your permission. And if you tell your child that they're actually a, a, a male when they're a male, then they're going to say that you are unfit parent. Are you all paying attention? Did y'all see what happened when I went on Dr. Phil? Y'all want to talk about white supremacy? White supremacy is a white man sitting up on the stage telling you that the king you gave birth to is a woman. That's white supremacy. Y'all better wake up. Stop allowing these people to lie to us. Stop allowing them to mislead our children. Stop allowing them to divide us by Republican or Democrat. You need Republicans and Democrats representing you if those both are the powers. If that's the case, if we're doing what's best for black people, you can't tell me that we're supposed to be, everybody that we're supposed to support is all of the people that are saying we should afford our children. Now we want to vote for some people that want our children to live, that want to give us other options. Well, you definitely got the support of the people in the chat, and I've been trying to highlight some of the people. So it's not like it's falling on deaf ears. So what do you see as a plan besides coding, uh, besides trades, and besides just like building up the morale? Like it's almost like anytime someone speak truth like you, like me, they get attacked. How do we build the morale of black folks? Okay, so we we are in control of this, right? Because I've realized that a lot of oppression that I've received have come from a lot of my own people, right? Just hate. So we have to begin to control the narrative and take back control. Those of us that are real, those of us that are honest, those of us that are true, like I said before, begin to create our own lines of communication, begin to do exactly what you're doing, hosting these shows, getting the word out, letting people know. We need to stand up for what we know to be right. Stop doing this go along to get along because that hasn't gotten us anywhere at all. Do we need to protest if a black person is killed by the police? Absolutely. Do we need to demand that we have police reform? Absolutely. That's one of the things I went in for a meeting for with Vice President Mike Pence. You probably saw the picture up on my page. Why y'all got these white boys coming down from Alpharetta to co to to police our communities they don't know us they don't know our children they don't know us it's different when you have a relationship if a police officer knows you Kwame or knows your mother and something happened in the community be like oh wait a minute I know this kid I know his mom like, relationships are different imagine a police officer coming up to you say Kwame what's going on today man they out here saying you getting in trouble instead of running up and say hold on don't move like we've created an atmosphere with everybody on hype Everybody's scared. I, I don't want to defund the police because I know that the police is me either. <laughs> when Ray Ray and Pookie them kicked in my motherfucking door. Like, let's be for real now. The majority of our partners that done got robbed and set up has always been by somebody you know. Let's stop acting like we all want some real brotherhood shit when y'all know that's not the case. That's only for the media. We don't need to defund the police. But we need more of us working in the police department. You want to make a difference? Go get a job as a police officer. Start policing your own communities, right? Start bringing us together. We can't keep telling our children, fuck the police, fuck the police, 
Then as soon as they go out there and see a police officer, they like, police officer, fuck you. Because guess what? That police officer can kill your child. Look, I ain't saying it's right. I, but one thing I know, my son, 17 years old, 6'4", me and him got into it. He rose up at me at the table. I kind of lost it. I popped him in the lip, right? He had a little blood on his cheek. The police officer come. The first thing the police officer do is lock me up, right, in front of all my other children, take me to jail. But if he rolls up at you, police officer, like he wanted to fight you six folks, you can shoot him and kill him. I, we don't even have the right to discipline our own children. They're going to take the power out of our hands as the parents, say we can't discipline our children. Our children don't even respect us, but you're going to demand that he respects you. No, it starts at home. So why is it that I can't discipline him, but if he disrespects you, you get to kill him? We got to take back our power. We got to take back our control. We got to get real ones in office. Stop allowing these people to run these smear campaigns on the real ones. We in a situation that we in because it ain't nobody like me in Congress. We don't have a voice on the floor. Right? And they're going to tell you, don't put her in there. Right? They ready to tell you the people for us. Is Ayanna Presley, Cory Bush, Stacey Abrams. Well, I need to tell my black brothers why y'all keep voting for black women that don't even like black men. They wouldn't date you. Ooh, 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 ooh. Say that one more time. Say, you. say that one more time for the people that didn't hear that in the back. Black women in office that don't even like black men. They wouldn't even date you. With, not only that, how you represent black life, mama, you ain't even willing to make create a black life. You ain't even willing to have a black family. Kamala Harris met and listen, I ain't trying to be racist. They say I be racist. I just have to be real. Kamala right. Harris don't right. have no black children. She's married to a white man. They don't know our struggle. Stacey Abrams don't have any children. Stop letting these women with cursed wounds tell you to abort your children. It's the reason why they don't have kids. It could be an ulterior motive. Everything that they push for us is against life. And as long as we continue to stand behind these people, to support these people just because we black. Yes, yeah, Stacey Abrams, you black, but you don't like black men. Huh? Where, where is Ayanna Presley? Well, she don't like black like men. That's confirmed. What? Well, she don't date them. <laughs> she, she's a lesbian. Not saying I got anything against lesbian, whatever, but it was a people with power. I already know you got an issue with men. Nine times out of 10 of you a lesbian, it's probably because somebody told you you was ugly when you was little, a black man broke your heart or something. I don't know, you might have daddy issue, you might be still be mad. I can't stand with women that help our government destroy our men because at the end of the day, you ain't got black, black life is in the scrotum of the black man. You ain't got black life if you ain't got the black man. Y'all better wake up. Y'all better wake up. Support the Democrats, the Equality Act. Joe Biden just made it legal. Let me tell you how crazy this is. Y'all know I got three sons. One son that identifies as a woman, love him to death. That's my baby boy. But I got two other sons that are straight men. Joe Biden, this Equality Act they signed, made it legal for transgenders to change their birth certificate and their driver license. Now, I could think about how my one son might like that, but I can also think about my other two sons. And I could say, well, wait a minute. What if they meet somebody today and 10 years from now they're in love and they're trying to figure out why they ain't had no baby and then come to find out by some whim or something that they actually married to a biological man, right? How is it that we are voting against, we're, we're voting to put our children in harm's way? What's going to happen when your son find out that he been with a man, that somebody done raped him, that somebody done violated him or took his manhood from him. And then when your son react, he charged with a hate crime and he gone. Why are we voting for our daughters to abort our own grandchildren? You voting to execute your own lifeline 15, 20 years from now down the road. You don't even know it. That could be our Martin. That could be our Malcolm. Hell, y'all love Obama. He ain't did nothing but turn our sons and women. Y'all love him, but that could be your Obama. We are not even protecting our bloodlines or our lifelines. They got us completely 
going against everything that we were created to be. And we wondering why shit getting worse and it's not getting better for us. We Man. Got to Man, you know what? I knew this interview was going to be good if I ever got you on, but I didn't expect the raw. and Well, I did expect the raw and the realness, but just the reaction that you're getting from the people, I, I see why they stopping you from talking. <laughs> You, your voice and the way you speak with so, so much, it, it, you can't put it into words. You sound like my auntie. You sound like my mother. You sound like everybody, every woman that I grew up around sound like you. Yep. And I don't think they want, that's why I always tell young black people, you got to get back to the elders. There was always a woman like you in our hood or in our neighborhoods. It was hoods when I grew up. Um, that nobody got got mad at you for what you said. You got the respect to be able to get anybody in line that was doing something wrong. It's, it's all about bad behavior. Mm -hmm. I grew up, when I was growing up, it wasn't just about my mama. If a man saw me doing something wrong, my mom didn't go and aggress the man that checked me for what I was doing. That man was able to tell my mom about the behavior that I was doing. And once she found out what I was doing, whatever he did to me was OK to her because it was getting me a line. It was help raising me. Yep. Why can't we do that today? Man, we got to do that. We got to stop being separated by um, color. Right. We got to stop being separated by color. We got to stop being separated by religion. We got to stop being separated by political parties. What we have to understand right now is that this is about good or evil. It don't it don't it don't matter if you gay, straight, if you Democrat, Republican, if you if you rich, uh, if you poor, you know, you if you white, if you black. We we know it's wrong for them to, to sexually transition children. We know it's wrong for them to, to abort full term babies. I just put a video up on my page of a Democrat talking about a woman having an abortion in the middle of dilating, like she could be dilating, the baby about to come out and say, I don't want the baby no more, and they kill the baby. You know- Hold on, wait, 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 wait. When the baby about to come out? Yes, full-time abortion is legal. They will kill a full nine-month-old baby as, as long as it's before his head reaches the bottom of that birth canal. She could be dilating the baby on his way out and say, I don't want the baby no more, and they will kill the baby. That is a that's a lie. We can't we can't support that, especially when we know that the majority of the babies being aborted are black because they have us so confused. They lied to us. They told us we can't be successful unless we abort our children. That was the whole purpose of birth control to control our birth population. They wanted to make sure it wasn't more niggas than it was white people. I, I'm with I'm with uh Big Loan or whatever his name is. Uh damn, that's all I can say. Like, what you mean to tell me if a baby is about to come out? This is it, it has his own heartbeat, has yep. his own lungs, has his own everything now at this point. Yep. And they can kill it after that under what grounds? Yep, under the because the mother wants an abortion. It's the mother's choice. My body, my choice. And that's another lie, because none of us got the same bodies as our mamas. Like, stop letting these people tell you anything and you just run with it. How is it my body, my choice? My mama dead, I'm alive. I got five children. Ain't none of them me. They have their own life. It's not your body, your choice. It's the baby's body. We have bought so much, but we've, we've been... We've been misled and it's it's, it's not, it's, it, and I can't fuss because we really don't know no better because I was there and I, I'm post abortive. I've had an abortion. I bought the lie that it wasn't a baby. You know what I'm saying? And I, I was already on welfare and I didn't need another baby and all of that. I bought that, right? But it was a baby. It was, it was a life. Like we don't get to play Russian roulette with our children, right? Even, it, and this is something that woke my eyes up to it. The father. Right. I've seen the case where the mother and the father got into an altercation and the baby died as a result. The father is charged with feticide and in prison. You will charge a father with killing his own baby. But you will tell my black brothers that they can pay a white man to kill their baby. Right. And it's completely legal. So I can go and most abortionists are white. I ain't trying to beg. I'm just saying y'all talking about Black Lives Matter and white supremacy. Stop. 
man, white people to give you black babies. But listen, you, you, this, this black man will get charged with feticide for killing his own baby, the own baby that he created. But he can take three to five hundred dollars into an abortion clinic and pay a white man to kill that same black baby. The mother can say, "Hey, I don't want this baby no more." They're gonna make you feel liberated with a choice to end the life of that baby. But the father, the black man, if he don't want the baby no more, you gonna take him to court. He gotta be drugged for 18 years. They gonna make him be responsible for the child, even if he doesn't want to. Why can't that apply to the mother? If the mother can kill the baby, then the father should be able to kill the baby. If the father has to be responsible for the child for 18 years, then the mother should have to be responsible for the child for 18 years. Abortion is not the only option. Adoption is also an option. We need to seek value in allowing our children to live, even if we don't think that it's the right time. Because back in the day, we would see all the white people doing adoption. We'd be like, we ain't, we ain't having no, we ain't giving our baby up for adoption. We ain't finna let nobody mistreat our baby. This our mind. What, what if somebody mistreats the baby? What if the baby suffer? Bitch, you finna kill the baby. <laughs> Come on, man. Come on. Come on. We got to wake up, y'all. And I love y'all. And like I said, I'm just that auntie. I'm just too real for TV. This is love. It's not hate. But we got to we, we gotta get this. And we got to continue. And we have to talk to our young man. I don't think you're too real for TV. I think that you are just like the elder men and women that taught our community the right way. Um, a woman that can defend herself, stand on it, speak positive. You can't call her a sellout. You've been through everything that anybody from the hood can ever use as an excuse. Um, so you, you're, you're one of the people that, you know, like Dr. Boy said, you're dangerous because you're not going to bend the knee and accept what you somebody tell you. They're going to have to show you. And proudly married to a black man, okay? Love I, I in this everybody got their preference, right? I people will tell me, oh, she a sellout. She listen. I I I I love I, every man that I've ever been with in my life has been a black man. I love black men. I love our men. I love our families. I love everything about us. I refuse to believe that it's all lost, right? And I'm not standing with anybody. It, it, and I get called out on both sides. When the Republicans on their bullshit, I call them out too. Democrats, I call them out too. It's not about the get along, the go along game with me. It's about what's right, right? It's about what's right. Sisters, we need our men. We know it's not our decision, right? But we need them. We should be encouraging them to be men. We should be showing them that we appreciate them for being men, right? All of this toxic masculinity bullshit, that's a way to get these people out of the way so you don't have no protection. Look at just look at what I just dealt with. Even on Dr. Phil, I'm, I'm battling with Dr. Phil, who's a man, and another man that say he a woman. This nigga six foot four wearing a wig, 400 pounds, telling me he going to be a better mama than my children than I am. When we don't have masculine men, like if, his, if my son's father had been there, that conversation would have never went like that. They won't try a man the way that they will try us. And these men that identify as women, trust and believe, they know that we women. They know that they're stronger than us, right? They know that they can overpower us. We're not going to stand with these people and help them to destroy the only shot that we got at anything. Don't let these people think, make you think that a white man is our savior. Man. The black man is our savior. Woo! One more. What you say? The black man is our savior. Whether you know that's an unpopular man, opinion. Whether it's your brother, baby, that black man coming for you, right? And we all been hurt, but how long are we gonna dwell on what's been wrong? Because they destroying us, we destroying us. We can't win at the rate that we going. If 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 our brothers out here killing each other in the streets, if the police killing us. If we aborting all our babies, if our children are transitioned and they becoming sterile, if, if if the rest of the youth is getting on the LGBTQ movement, then it's not men and women. They're not creating life. 
if they're giving us a vaccine that we don't know what's in it could could shorten our lifespan okay if 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 we got AIDS, right if we know that the, the highest number of AIDS is in the black community we know that so then we have to ask ourselves if they know that black america is mostly impacted by AIDS, why are they pushing this agenda that we know leads to AIDS? come y'all we gotta we gotta wake up and stop thinking that everything is hate we cannot survive all of these attacks okay we're gonna be wiped out <laughs> 20 years from now, you, you show sure enough know that the black vote ain't gonna count. Who what black women, where you going? If, if all our men won't men, if all our children transitioning, if, if the real ones in jail, if the other ones killing each other, if the rest of them taking and already got a woman, where you going? If it ain't no, you already talking about you can't find a black man now. What where, where you going? How you gonna create black life? Y'all better start looking into polygamy. I don't know what y'all gonna do, but y'all better do something. Black life has to continue. Man, I've been putting some, of, I've been highlighting some of the comments. And like I said, you have an overwhelming support. And this is what I don't get. They're in the chat supporting you. Um, but I think we need to support you when it comes to government and the goals that you're trying to accomplish because if you're going to fight and represent black people this hard, why is it so easy for people that talk nice for the black community, say what we want to hear, then they move to the whitest communities in the in the <laughs> whitest part of the neighborhoods? Like, I don't get it. They were the biggest advocates for Black Lives Matter. The only person that can check these black women about pushing abortion is a, as a, as a black woman that's pro-life. I keep telling the Republican Party this, y'all. Listen, you cannot send these little prissy little white girls in there to deal with Ayanna Presley, you know, Cori Bush, you know, Erica Thomas, you know, all of these people that's calling themselves a part of, you know, what they call them, the some shit they got in there, the squad. You you, you got to have a real sister, man, sit directly from your ancestors that's really willing to stand up and fight for life, that's willing to stand up, fight for our children and fight for our families. If they're not pushing agendas that protect our children, that protect manhood, right? Even our daughters, even like I, I put up a picture on my page, they got our little girls talking about they transitioning, cutting off their breasts. How you gonna feed your baby? Like you, you might change. We not even supposed to. You're not a cow. Your baby ain't supposed to be drinking no cow's milk. That's what you got titties for. God did already gave us everything that we need to be complete. They tricking them, making them think they boy. And I was a time boy. I had all boy cousins. You couldn't pay me to put on a dress. I wanted to play football, ride skateboards. I wanted to fight. I wanted to do all the stuff my boy cousins did. But thank God, my mama didn't never tell me it was because I was a boy. And I believe that and went like cutting their breast off and then 10 years when they realize or discover who they are, because you know a lot of things come up maturity. You you how you gonna feed your baby? Like everything is against our creation. It's dangerous. And we gotta wake up, Kwame. I mean, that's all I gotta say, man. The message ain't gonna change, man. Y'all, everybody that support me, I appreciate it. Y'all know they don't took down all my platforms. They got rid of my Twitter. They got rid of my IG. I'm trying to fight to get my IG back. I'm in the process now of creating my own website that can't be taken down so you guys can be able to come over here and support me because somebody got to be willing to tell the truth. And I, I guess now that it's all said and done, I kind of really do thank God for that experience that I had with being able to work with the Trump administration because my eyes would have never been open to this evil. Like I would have never known about these games that they planned in politics. And when I found out, I felt like it was my duty to bring this news to us. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, y'all, look, shit. This is what's going on. Like I was just as shocked as any. I'm still shocked. Like I, I cannot believe the shit that's happening right now. Like even again, that situation down at We Spot. If you go look on my page and see the videos. You got Antifa showing up, jumping on preachers and women because we're saying we don't want a man exposing himself to us. I, I don't want to see no strange dick. If I want to see it, I'll go to the Chippendales and see it or pay to see it. If I, my daughter, I've raised her in the house with three brothers. 
she ain't never been exposed to them. And we lived in the same house and sometimes only had one bathroom. And I made sure that my daughter was not exposed to her brothers. Why would I want to take my daughter to a spa somewhere out in public for her to be exposed to a strange dick? I'm, I'm a married woman. What if me and my girlfriends want to go to the spa for a girl's day? We don't want a man getting in the water with us with his dick and his balls floating in the water. Where is our protection at as women? And you see this man on video saying, by law, if he identifies as a woman, even if he hasn't had the surgery, we have to let him in. How does a man identifying as a woman have more rights than a natural born woman? We're losing our rights and we are losing our freedoms. This, this is a transhumanism agenda. And whenever you create another subspecies of human, your black ass better watch out. I agree with you on that. You, you better watch out. They coming yeah. to destroy, baby. They coming to destroy. Man, you know what? I did not know that. Like I said, I didn't know this interview was going to go so well. And I'm I'm appreciative and I'm glad that you were finally able to just speak and just speak whatever you want to say. Because a lot of times I've seen you in different interviews and they keep cutting you off. They yeah. keep trying to stop you from saying what it is you're trying to say and, and sway the narrative to make you look like you hate people, to make you look like a certain way. They try to upset you. And everything you're saying now that you're getting it out the way you want is just real talk. It's just common sense. My baby can be whatever he want to be, but I know him as little John John. And now you push this baby out. Can't nobody tell you nothing. Raised them, signed the birth certificate. I, do I go back and sue the doctors? Because they told me I had a boy. Like somebody lying somewhere. Like it, it, it just absolutely, and, and the confusion, like, this is all about money. This is mm -hmm. this is all about big pharma, right? And and I don't want to get knocked off, but hell, I'm gonna tell the truth. If you gotta go out, you might as well go out with a bang. This this is about big pharma, right? There is a lot of money in transhumanism. These doctors are performing these surgeries knowing that science it's a scientific fact that you cannot change chromosomes. You can give them breast implants, you can give them hips, you can cut it off, but guess what? You know, when you think to yourself and you hear that voice talking to you, they still gonna hear that deep ass voice in the back of their mind that reminds them that they are men. And then they, when they realize that they went through all that and these people done lied to them, all of the medication that they have to take prior to, all of the psychological stuff, this is about money. This is a new way to make money and lives are being destroyed in the process. And I don't think any of us want our children to be guinea pigs for these people playing Frankenstein, because that's exactly what they're doing. I agree with you. Now, there's some people in the chat asking for your cash app. Can you tell the people your cash app? Ask show. So A-S-K for Angela Stanton King, and then show. So ask show, guys. I appreciate that for those of you that are supporting me. You know, we're in the process right now, man, of trying to figure out where do we go next? I mean, all of the stuff that happened in the election, even here in Fulton County with the alleged water main break. I mean, my opponent, Nakima Williams, who is um, worked for Planned Parenthood for 17 years. I mean, literally paid to tell us to kill our babies. Did, wouldn't even debate me. Somehow she got more votes than John Lewis. I mean, I do believe that there was some type of election fraud going on because there's no way nobody ever heard of you ever in life and you got more votes than John Lewis. But again, them trying to suppress my voice, not letting you hear me, not letting me get in office. You know why? Because it's about money. They rather make sure that they get paid than put somebody in there that's going to truly set us free. And we just got to fight back with all that we can. So for everybody that support me, I appreciate you. And my new yep. IG is Real Angela Stanton. You all can follow me there at Real Angela Stanton on IG. Until we get the other one back, we just going to keep fighting. And man, listen, from all my sisters, we love <coughs> y'all. We need y'all. Yep. I don't, I don't, I, I'm, y'all going to mess around and I'm going to be back <coughs> with you. If one of these nigga bitches put their hands on me, I'm going to shoot the shit out of them. I, listen, we need our men. Right? I'm calling y'all. Okay? I don't understand what these people say. I'm calling y'all to stand up and fight for our sisters and fight for your children. 
Y'all cannot leave us out here on the front line to fight no man. You you just you it, it's all we dealing with a lot of mental health, and we all need to stick together. And one thing that I know we can stick together and agree on is when it comes to our children, protecting the innocence of our children. That's the one thing we can agree on if we can't agree on nothing else. And that's where I want y'all to meet me at. That's what I'm about, making sure that we're preserving the innocence of our children. Grown folk, do what you want to do. But we need to protect our kids. And, and it's time. It's and that's time. what we can find a through line at. Give them your cash out one more time. Cash out one more time. It's a show. So y'all know my name is Angela Stanton King. So ask, A-S-K, show. Ask, show. So I appreciate you. Y'all going to be hearing more from me and Kwame. We got a lot to rap about. Um, Judge Joe Brown, that's one of my mentors as well. Absolutely love him. Y'all keep looking out for the real man, spreading the real, supporting the real, and calling out them suckers. Calling them out. Stop letting these people lie to us and mislead us. Oprah Winfrey ain't did a damn thing for us. She went over there, opened up a school all the way over there, and now they talking about them girls missing and them girls on got sexually abused and stuff like that. Like, stop letting these people tell us that we are oppressed and they sitting at the top of the hill with their millions and millions of dollars looking down, controlling us from behind the computer. Stop letting these white people, like who was the one that 50 Cent used to go with? Chelsea, the little white girl. Come <laughs> <laughs> on, go on there and make it. Easy. God, black was it Chelsea Handler? Her. This, yeah. What you know about being oppressed? Stop listening to these people and listen to people like me. Listen to people like Quan. Yeah, we we been at the bottom, but we can come from the bottom up. We we can make it to the top. These are the messages that y'all need to hear. Not none of that shit. It's the white people fault. No, we good. That's it. Man, you know I love the message and um. Like I said, you got my number. Um, I'm I'm going to be creating a podcast so that way, in case they take my YouTube down, uh, I have a podcast the way we can all spread this message. I think it done it, it spread like wildfire fires. Now they thought that it was just a you know fly by night. I'm going to argue with two guys like they they thought it was, and I use controversy to push push a bigger message, and yeah. I think. Uh, people like you, people like Judge Joe Brown, um, people that can make it all make sense. You guys have been fighting for this for years. And I, I wasn't going to allow myself to have a platform and not make it. I can make it fun. I can joke. I can play around. But you got to be connected to something. You got to be connected to the elders. Like we all adults all did their things. But most times adults, you know, real men and real women. And that's what people don't understand. Real men protect women real men do not we're not your enemy we yeah. might not we might be disagreeable we might not agree on everything we might not say what you want to hear it's not toxic it's not all these things it's just a disagreement but at yeah. the end of the day if somebody aggress you a real man will defend a woman that he don't even know and we got to get back to those days where that happened now Men are afraid to talk to a woman's children. Men are afraid to say anything at this point. Yeah, and I stand by, a stand by holding their phone out, watching a woman get beat up by a man in the wig instead of jumping in and then trying to help. You know why? Because our government got them afraid. Because yeah. they said, hey, if you put your, if this one man identifies as a woman and that's just like you hitting a woman, most men going to think twice before they hit a woman. Now they done sold us this illusion. Well, I, I just play the game. I got a wig in the trunk. So in case somebody aggressing uh, somebody I like, I'm going to identify with them and, and we're going to figure it out. <laughs> I know that's right. That's the cue right there. Y'all grab y'all wigs. Put yeah, I got a wig in the trunk. We're going to figure this thing out. And I'm yeah. going to be on the other side of criminal justice reform. And listen, man, anything go down, hopefully my boy will be back in in 2024, man, and we can get some more people out of prison. I, I want another thing that I want to say before I get out of here is all of those people that told us to vote for Joe Biden. They quiet and now. T.I., um, 2 Chains, all of these folks that was rapping and tap dancing for this man. Y'all need to be holding them accountable. Woo. If, if say, say, them names, names, say them names again. You, 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 you going in now. Who you say? Jeezy, Diddy, Isaac Hayes Jr., uh, Stacey Abrams, all of these people that talk, that told y'all to vote for Joe Biden, 
Y'all need to be holding these people accountable the same way you did me. If DL Hewley can roast me every day for going in fighting for black babies and not being bordered in black paper to be free, if Snoop Dogg can put up a picture of me on his page calling me a cool next to Candace Owens and Larry Elder, which Y'all I did that. feel disrespectful to Snoop, if he can do that, we can ask them why the hell ain't nobody got free since Joe Biden been in prison. Where y'all criminal justice reform at? Why did the bar drop? Now, Joe Biden ain't gonna let me know where near him because I done told him to his face he ain't nothing but a pedophile. Him and Kamala here. So I can't go in and ask for nobody to get out. But for those of you that's connected to this administration, for those of you that's working with this administration, right? For those of you that take credit for getting these people in office, why y'all not holding them accountable? Why black people ain't got nothing? We, we didn't ask for the Equality Act. We we don't want our sons running around here in dresses. We don't. So why are y'all not holding them accountable? I think we know why. It's an agenda. Y'all sold out. Mm-mm-mm. Y'all sold out. We got to do, do this again. We, we got I, I definitely appreciate you, you know, jumping up, reaching out to me. Um... I'm glad I'm man. This this was <laughs> you just don't understand I, to have a you and Judge Joe Brown the same night, two people that just speak the truth that's not being controlled. That's a blessing for the people. Yep. I don't know if they know what they're witnessing tonight, but that's a blessing. Yeah. The first gonna, real thing they heard in a long time. Yeah, so. and we will do it again. <laughs> Come on, brother. I appreciate all the work you do. Thank you to everybody that support me, everybody that donated. I love you guys. Don't let them lie on the kid. Don't let them lie on the kid. They trying to do me like they did Malcolm. See, they had your own people kill you. Because they had you thinking that I'm against you and I'm really for you. And they had your own people been to knock you off thinking you out here against them. But you really fighting for them. So open up your eyes in this season, man. This right here is getting ready to show us the real from the fake. These next four years going to determine the real from the fake and we're going to see. I I'm definitely out. appreciate you. Respect you. you, salute. Y'all should give a round of applause for her coming. I appreciate you. Man. Uh, what can we say? I mean, she, she came in and she gave it real. So I'm appreciative. I'm about to go to bed. My daughter is already asleep. Wow. I did not expect the interview. Uh, I did not expect to interview two people um, that are free thinkers like that, that just says whatever. Um, but I hope y'all can respect that I gave both guests opportunity to just speak whatever is on their mind. I think more people need to interview people like that. I'm on my platform talking and laughing and giggling and bullshitting and, and speaking the truth all the time. So when you bring a guest on, you let them speak it however they want to speak from their heart. And I don't think she said everything as a fact. There was a few things she said as a fact and that I agree with. Um, we have to start championing women like that. Women that's not going to say everything that you want to hear. Those are the people that are the truth tellers. Judge Joe Brown, people that are free that um, maybe seeing some stuff you haven't seen and trying to relay a message to you that you may not understand, but you might just need to get their perspective on it and have a conversation before you shun a person. You might want to get their perspective and understand why they're saying what they're saying. We have to get back to a common sense. So hopefully we can connect you back to the elders. Um, her uh, Miss Angela Stanton Cash App is Money Sign Axe Show. I have it right there on the screen. Um, you guys be blessed. I am about to turn it in for the night. I'm tired as I don't know what. I got to wake up and cook tomorrow. Lord help us. We're supposed to be got done on. Thank you guys for the super chats. I appreciate you. Y'all, please follow Miss Angela Stanton.